Under the lush green hills of southern India, an unstoppable force is at work. A 2.2 kilometer long tunnel connecting the two lakes and a powerhouse underground. Set to generate 500 megawatt of clean energy beneath the dense jungle. This is an hydroelectric project in which we generate power from water. A mega pump storage hydroelectric project. Constructed in extreme conditions, bringing man and machine face to face with the raw power of nature. It will need an engineering spectacle to construct this electricity generating project in this terrain. Extreme Tech, Patel Engineering, a giant in the Nilgiris. These jungles are in the southern part of India, in the state of Tamil Nadu, and are part of the Western Ghats. The Nilgiri Hills in Tamil Nadu are a sight to behold. They are very old. Amidst the rolling grasslands of Nilgiris, between lush waterfalls and the expanse of deep plantations lies a place called Uti. Harnessing the might of two lakes, Avalanche Emerald and Porthimund, in Katukuppai near Uti, it is here that a new 500 megawatt pump storage hydroelectric project is taking concrete shape. With an underground powerhouse set to house four units, of 125 megawatt each, accessible through an underground tunnel. These lakes are at variable heights with enough water in them. That itself naturally lends an opportunity to generate enough electric power. But that is the easy part. The difficult part is to do it all without affecting the ecology. Once completed, Kunda Pump Storage Hydroelectric Project will ensure green reliable power to the national grid in all seasons. The Kunda Hydroelectric Project is unique because it's a pump storage scheme. And once it is developed, it will uh, show the path for other pump storage schemes to be developed in the country, which are going to be very important in the entire electric, electricity generation uh, system of the country. Pumped hydro power storage is called the world's water battery. Patel Engineering has been tasked building the 2.2 kilometers long tunnel connecting the two reservoirs. In peak cast, when the power demand is more, water from the upper reservoir is taken through tunnels and uh, it comes down. Due to the kinetic energy of water, the turbines are charged and that produces electricity. And the water comes to the lowermost reservoir. In the non-peak cast, when there is no excess power in the grid, the same power is used to repump the water from the lower reservoir to the upper reservoir. The immense magnitude of the project needed tunnels to connect the two reservoirs at different heights. A 2.2 kilometer long head race and tail race tunnel between Porthimund, the upper reservoir, and Emerald Avalanche the lower reservoir. We have many tunnels which are called as adits, which used to go to the main component in which cable come ventilation tunnel and mat main access tunnel and there is an adit to HRT head race tunnel and all these adits put together it is approximately around about 1000 meters. It is all supposed to happen under the mountains, connecting the two lakes. The project would require detailed planning, highly skilled manpower, specialized materials, and sophisticated equipment. After a detailed hydro fracture test for the powerhouse and geological exploration, the excavation began. But constructing a mega project in the Nilgiris brought with it a unique set of challenges, like rain. 
we encountered with lots of uh, landslides, tree falls and uh, etc. due to the rains. Even on, before starting of our works, we were delayed by three to four months. This meant making up for the lost time and still finishing the project in the timeline. There were more challenges in the store. As we are working inside a reserve forest, the movements of manpower and missionaries were curtailed. And as because of narrow roads, the transportation was a huge task to this. Because the project is in a reserve forest, there were chances of wild encounters. Even though it's an underground work, in some places we were forced to work on top of ground during night shifts. And at that period, we used maximum lighting arrangements to avoid animal and human encounters. The planning worked. The construction started to happen at a rapid pace. We are working inside a dense forest and we have to definitely safeguard our environment and ecology. And in added to HRT portal, we got the alignment shifted just to safeguard a shawl artery which still stands tall there. This challenge of the ecology or wild encounters was over the ground. A much bigger and deeper challenge was awaiting them underground. Some of the unique components of this project, the standard mucking operations was unable to be adopted because of its uh, time and uh, energy consumption. Stuck under the ground, it seemed like a dead end with nowhere to go. The engineers brainstormed. They had to deploy an engineering solution that could get them out of this blind alley. A raised climber is a specialized equipment used to carry out drilling activity in a vertical position against the gravity in underground shafts. The raised climber helps the drillers to drill vertically above at any angles. Once the blasting is done, due to gravity, the muck comes down automatically, which saves a lot of time and energy, and the blasted muck is transported out. The team was excited. It was an astonishing engineering achievement. The work again gathered pace. Such a massive project is required to be monitored on a daily basis. The challenges that once seemed insurmountable are now yet another engineering achievement. Presently, we have completed 99% of underground excavation and we are in a transition phase from excavation to concrete works. Once completed, Kunda Pump Storage Hydroelectric Project will ensure green reliable power to the national grid in all seasons and it will work silently under the mountains, like an invisible powerhouse. The churning under the mountains will keep producing power 